Hello and welcome to this quick video to answer the specific question that I've just got. And it's a question that I get on a relatively regular basis. So I thought, you know what, let me make a specific video about it. Now I have talked about this in the past. I've actually put Ardu Pilot on non Pixhawk style flight controllers in the past in series. And I've gone through this, but obviously that stuff because it's hidden as part of the series is not as easy to find. So let me explain for this chap here how to check if a flight controller is supported by RD Pilot. Now the big change that happened a while ago was that the development team started to use something called Chibios. Now Chibios, this thing here, is something that sits in between RD Pilot and the flight controller hardware and it really unlocks the ability for RD Pilot to run on all kinds of things, not just like Pixhawk and Cube Pilot systems, but actually on the stuff we use in the hobby as well. And there is one place that actually shows you all the different versions and things that you can put it on. Now don't worry, I'll put a link to this thing at the top so you can go and have a look at this page. And it's worthwhile keeping an eye on this when you're looking at a flight controller because new flight controllers are being added all the time. Now obviously the Ardu Pilot guys are really kind of pushing the Pixhawk and Cube Pilot style flight controllers because they do have additional features over the hobby grade flight control systems that we use. It's one of the reasons why they're a lot more expensive. Things like IMU heaters, you know, you find those on things like the Q pilot system, IMU redundancy, things like I squared C and CAN buses, all kinds of stuff. However, if we scroll down here, you can see that laughingly they called it open hardware. I'm not sure I agree with the terminology here, but here's all the different Pixhawk style systems, the Holy Bros. Some of them are actually called Pixhawks. These days they tend to not call it that stuff. Um, however, you got all the Cube Pilot system here, which is kind of your professional gold level standard. And then you have something called closed hardware. Again, I think this is kind of the wrong way around, but here's all the stuff that we would tend to use in the hobby, as well as things like the Holy Bro Kakute stuff, which I quite like. We have some of the uh, Matex system stuff. We have some of the old Omnibus stuff. In fact, the Omnibus is one that I did a series on a long time ago. We stuck RD Pilot on it and stuck it in a wing. And then coming down here, we have things like the Speedy B F405, um, F4, and the Wing and the Wing Mini, which I think are fantastic development environments for things like RD Pilot. And when people come to me and ask me about RD Pilot, I do recommend getting something like a £36, $36 Speedy BF405 wing and messing about with it because it's great. You can play with RD Pilot on that. And then when you want to build your professional rig, you can go and treat yourself to something up here or even one something like the Cube Pilot Orange Plus. So if we just look at one of these, let's choose something like the Speedy BF405 wing. If we click on it, it actually not only shows that it's supported because it's in the list but if we go down here we actually get a lot more specification stuff and crucially we have a wiring diagram of how we need to connect everything for Arduino Pilot and the UART order of how it is configured as well as hints and tips for how all this stuff comes together. So this is an amazing resource and this set of pages is just simple way to do it. You just come into here and have a look and have a look to see if the board that you are looking at is on this list. And if it's not, then it probably isn't supported. However, that doesn't mean it isn't going to be forever. There's a good chance it'll get added in the fullness of time if enough people ask for it. One last quick tip I'll give you. If you want to download the firmware for this and you'll download it typically in things like a hex file, Again, I'll link to this down below of how you load that firmware onto a non Pixhawk style flight controller. Uh, there's loads of information there about flashing tools and just zoom down to the bottom, forget all that stuff. The way that I do it is here at the bottom. What I do is I fire up the beta flight configurator and plug the board in, whether it's an Omnibus or a Speedy B or something like a Matek flight controller, whatever it is that's supported. And I then load custom firmware, load the file that I've downloaded that includes the Ardu Pilot firmware, and then click on flash, just like you would 
downloading kind of a development version of the beta flight software once it's on then just connect to it with mission planner and configure it as normal remembering that all the wiring and all the mapping and everything is already talked about in these pages and you can see exactly how everything is supposed to go together thank you for watching my video check out the playlist and adding payment 360 to your search terms will help you find my content if you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.